Hey guys, today we're looking at lesson 4.4, linear models and point slope form. All right, so let's get started with task one. All right, it says build understanding, interpret linear functions. All right, Mitchell uses an older digital camera that he got as a at a thrift store. Each picture takes three megabytes of space on a memory card. If S represents the amount of space left on the memory card, and P represents the number of pictures taken, then the amount of space remaining on the card can be modeled by the function S of P, that's your pictures, equals negative three times P, again, your pictures, plus 498, which is your starting number of space. All right, so Mitchell takes a few pictures and keeps track of the available space in a table. Then he draws a line through the points to model the relationship. All right, so when he takes zero pictures, he has 498 megabytes of space available on his camera. After taking three or 10 pictures, and remember each picture takes up three megabytes of space. So after 10 pictures, times three megabytes of space, that's 30 megabytes of space, 498 minus 30 is the 468. So you can see he's just keeping track of how much available space he has. All right, so after he does that with a few points, then he graphs it and he starts with zero and the initial um, available space, the amount of initial space that he started with, which was the 400 and what, 498 megabytes of space. And then he used um, his math, he used his um, chart there above to graph this to figure out how many pictures his camera would hold. All right, it says which statements are true? Select all that apply. All right, so it says S of zero represents the storage space used by zero pictures. S of zero represents the amount of storage space available when zero pictures are stored. All right, so we know that we're talking about the available storage space. You can see right here, available storage space. And if you take zero pictures, that's how much available space is left. All right, so it says S of zero is the horizontal intercept on the graph. Okay, so that would be, horizontal would be here. This one says S of zero is the vertical intercept on the graph. So the vertical intercept would be here, and we can see that the zero matches the vertical intercept here. That's the 498 megabytes of space. And then the last one says S of zero appears in the right column of the table next to zero in the left column. So that's saying if we come up here to our table that this is what represents this vertical intercept here. And that is true. So there are three things that are true here. And it says select all that apply. So you always want to make sure you read each one to see what the best choices are. All right, the next question says, which statements are true? Select all that apply. All right, the next one says, the slope of negative three represents a decrease of three megabytes of memory available for each picture. The slope of negative three represents a decrease of one megabyte memory available for every three pictures. So we know from above that it's um, negative three is a decrease of three megabytes. You can go back to the very beginning and it says each picture, that's one picture, takes three megabytes of space. So that's given information. So we know that this first one is true. That means the second one is not true. All right, it says the slope corresponds to a decrease of 30 megabytes in the table for an increase of 10 pictures. Well, if we go back to the table and look, after taking 10 pictures, this decreased by 30 from here, so that is also a true statement. So we can say the slope corresponds to a decrease of 30 megabytes in the table for an increase of 10 pictures. 
All right, the next one says the slope appears in the graph as the opposite of the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. The slope appears in the graph as the opposite of the horizontal intercept divided by the vertical intercept. Okay, so we know that slope is rise over run, so this is just kind of an awkward way of saying opposite of vertical change. Your vertical change is your rise, okay, divided by your horizontal um, intercept. Let's see, the slope appears in the graph as the opposite of the vertical intercept divided by the horizontal intercept. All right, let's see if they can explain it a little bit better. All right, the change in output is the opposite of the vertical intercept. Likewise, the change in input, input is your x's, remember, is the horizontal intercept. So the slope is the change in input over the change in output. So I don't really love the way that third one is worded, but um, that is the correct, that is one of the correct answers. So you can see again, B part has three correct answers, so you have to be careful. Make sure you choose all that apply. All right, C part says, choose the words that best complete the statements. All right, S of P is what kind of function? It is a decreasing function. If you look above, again, you can see that the line is going down from left to right. We studied that before. That means it is a decreasing function. As more photos are taken, the amount of storage space used increases. So the amount of storage space available decreases. All right, so the more space you use, the more space available goes down, okay? All right, it says choose the word to best complete the statement. A zero of the function represents the maximum or minimum number of blank on the camera. So this is going to be pictures. So the zero of the function represents the maximum number of pictures on the camera. Okay, so even though it goes down, you can see that the graph is going down, it's decreasing, but when you get to the intercept or the zero of the function, this is the maximum number of pictures that you can take. When you get to the, the zero, that means your um, available storage space is full. All right. After cleaning the memory, Mitchell changes the setting on the camera to obtain a higher resolution. Each high resolution picture takes eight, eight megabytes of space. Consider a function that models the relationship between the amount of storage space in megabytes and the number of high resolution pictures taken. All right, so we know that if in the beginning it took three, our slope was negative three, it took three megabytes of space. Now, because it's high resolution, it's going to take eight megabytes. So we know now our slope is going to be negative eight. So let's see what kind of questions they ask. All right, it says, choose the words that best complete the statement. If P represents the number of high resolution pictures taken, then S of P represents the amount of storage space still available. This is essentially the same relationship as for S, and the graph will be a line segment going still down from left to right. All right, so this is basically saying that our um, high resolution function, is that going to be similar to the other function? And the answer is yes. It's going to be very similar. It's just going to have a steeper slope, but it's still going to be decreasing. It's still going to be a function going down. All right, so it says the slope of the graph is negative 8, and the graph is it's going to be steeper because negative 8 is steeper than negative 3. All right, so choose the words that best complete the statement. All right, the vertical intercept of the graph is all right, so the vertical intercept is going to be the same because we started with 498 
um, available storage space on the camera. So that should be the same. It's just each picture is going to take more room. So it says the, ver the horizontal intercept of the graph is less because negative 8 is going to get to that intercept quicker than it would with the other line. All right, so it says complete the intercepts of the equation for S of H, round to the nearest whole number if necessary. All right, the vertical intercept is 0 and 498. That came from before. We can go back up here at the table. This is just the amount of available space on the camera, and we can see that that comes from the original information, 498. All right, and the horizontal intercept is, all right, so if each, um, let's pull up the uh, calculator here. All right, so if there's 498 uh, megabytes of space on the camera, we can divide that by negative 8, and that's going to be, our slope. So our slope is going to be about ne our slope is going to be um, negative eight, and we're going to hit the x-axis, or this would be our zero. All right. So it says round to the nearest whole number. So we're talking about number of pictures taken. So it can't be negative, and it's not going to be a decimal. So the horizontal intercept is going to be about sixty-two. That's going to be about sixty-two pictures when there's zero space left on the camera. Okay, so this is going to be negative 8, and let's see what happens. All right, so that is your information given, and if you have any questions, please let me know.